Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a start to finish 12 by 12 scrapbook layout to share with you. And I'm using Felicity Jane, both the Reagan and Henley collection. My photo is five and a quarter by four and I'm using the digital collection. So you'll see a big white block in most of my patterns here. That's because I'm covering them up with another pattern. So I didn't want to waste the ink on them. I I'm using both, like I'd mentioned, Reagan and Henley. They do work really well together. And I'm going to be adhering my main piece down to a 12 by 12 piece of smooth white cardstock. I also have some scrap chipboard here in black that I'll be adding behind one of my layered pieces. And I did cut out most of my die cuts. I do add a few more at the end because I felt it needed a couple more. I have a bow. I have this cute little speech bubble that says you and me. A few of the hearts and then some of the gorgeous flowers. I also forgot to show this piece. I added the sentiment, life is sweeter with you, and that little barcode, that's from the Felicity Jane collection kit. I do like to double all my flowers with some a second piece of cardstock. I'm ju just using some Beacon Fabri-Tac to adhere those together. That way it gives them a little bit of strength to hold up in my album. I'm adding my bow. This was cut from the Silhouette Cameo and I like to use hot glue because it's quick. It dries quickly. That sentiment that I showed on that last piece, Life is Sweeter with You, that was purchased from the online Silhouette store. I'll try and remember to put a link to that down in the description box. So I'm adding my first piece. This piece is 11 by 11 and that I added that white block and then the other piece of paper to it. And here's where I'm adding the chipboard. I just like to add a little bit of dimension to, to my layouts a lot of the time. So that blue polka dot mat is cut to 10 by 6 and an eighth. And that's from the Henley collection. I'm just adding that over to the left side, making sure that it's even from top to bottom. And that heart page is from the Reagan, Reagan collection. That is cut to eight and three fourths by five and three fourths. The final pieces, I had cut it out a little bit larger at first, but I decided I wanted it a little bit smaller. I love that the Felicity Jane collections are all meant to coordinate together. You can mix and match between their collections and they usually tend to work really well together. So I'm cutting a piece of chipboard to go off the side because my, my photo mat is going to be hanging off the side. And as you remember, I put some chipboard behind that one mat piece. So I need it to evenly sit. So I'm adding chipboard just to the part that's going to be hanging off of that. I do end up ripping that off here in a minute because I added one more mat piece behind it. That gorgeous flower paper is from the Reagan collection. And then this stripe paper is, and, and that, flowered mat is cut to six and a quarter by four and three quarters and then the black and white one is five and three fourths by four and a half and here's where I decided I needed something to make it stand out a little bit more so I added that same blue to it and that mat is cut to six and a half by five I just tore up the chipboard and then glued it back at the very bottom it was no big deal it ripped off very easy I was just making sure to be careful not to rip my paper adding a little scrap piece behind there so it stands out just a little bit and then once I was happy that with that I went ahead and adhered down my photo mats onto the page so I'm just gonna kind of set out the flowers see where I want them to be I had this idea in mind before I started. Again, the photo is five and a quarter by four. I'm going to adhere that down because I'd, I'd rather adhere the photo very last, but I knew I was going to be adding some of the flower cutouts over top of them, so I needed to add it then. You just want to be careful not to get fingerprints on them or hot glue string if you're using hot glue like I will be. cutting up some foam tape. I like to add foam tape to the parts that I curled up with my bone folder. And then right in the center, I'll add a little bit of hot glue. Again, that way it, it, it adheres immediately. And then the foam tape will help it keep it to be a little dimensional. 
So I've mentioned before on my other videos, because I do get asked when I make dimensional layouts, how I store them in photo albums. I actually adhere them to a piece of chipboard and then I put a little photo hanger on the back that I pick up from either Home Depot or Walmart. They're usually, you get like 50 of them for like $4. And I adhere that down on the very back of the chipboard with some E6000. And then I like to hang my layouts around my scrapbook room, either by themselves or in a 12 by 12 uh, photo frame that you can get from Michaels that will hold dimensional layouts. So I added that little speech bubble. It says you and me. That's from the Reagan collection. Same with the hearts. And then that little bow, I just used that same navy blue color. I love black and white photos. This was a black and white photo of my husband and I. It had a, a little bit of a different filter on it. And now I'm just adhering down this little journaling card. I sized it pretty small because I wanted a little cluster in that bottom right. Adding another smaller flower and then a little tag behind that. I'm adding the little ampersand there. And now that journaling card wasn't standing out enough so I'm just using a black pen and my ruler to trace around the edges so it stands out a little bit more. I'll do that with the tag as well. And in case you're wondering, I'm using a wide format printer. I'm using an Epson Workforce 7710. And that's how I can print out the larger sizes. I'm adding these gorgeous filigree silver corners. These are from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm using a little bit of glossy accents, adding one to each corner there. I'll put an acrylic block on it to hold it in place until it dries. adding a little silver bow. I wanted a little bit of silver throughout this layer as well. So I'm adding this glitter ball um, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. They no longer carry those I, and I can't seem to find them anywhere. But I, you'll see in a minute I ripped that up. It was just a little too large for that bow. Even though I wanted to use it on the layout, I'll use it somewhere else. So I'm pulling out some flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. The peach chrysanthemums tied in perfectly with the paper collection. So I added two of those and then a few Sweetheart Blossoms. Here's where I ripped that off and then I ripped a little bit of the paper so I'm just gluing that back down. And now I'm adding a flat back ivory heart to the center. I use a little bit of glossy accents and hot glue. That way the hot glue adheres immediately and gives the glossy accents a little time to dry. I also add a white gardenia flower here. It comes in, I think, four layers. I ripped off two of the layers and I'm just gonna use two layers together here. I like, I love the look of that. So I'm adhering those with hot glue, seeing where I want it on my layout. These chrysanthemums, again, were the perfect match to that beautiful floral paper. And now I'm going to tuck in that glitter ball behind that. It, it fit in there perfectly. Add some of the Sweetheart Blossoms. I'm trying to keep the hot glue off my photo because it's hard to get it off there once you get it on there. I have a little label here that I cut off the side. I'll add the date to it. Adhere that down. And then add a pearl with a diamond flower to the center of that gardenia. And now I'm going to tuck in just a couple of the white hip rose buds, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. And that statement is so true. Life is sweeter with you. My husband is absolutely my best friend. We've grown up together. He's pretty awesome. So here is where I like to add chipboard onto the back of my page. So I'm using the same fabric, Fabri-Tac Beacon Glue. And then after this dries, I'll add my photo corner or my photo hanger. I don't show that on camera, but I let that sit overnight. And then I can just use a small little tack to hang this up. 
I'm adding some Crystal Nouveau drops in glossy white. They're my favorite. And then these beautiful wood embellishments I got a while ago from Saw Crafter. One says thankful because I'm very thankful for him. And I am adding those on with some E6000. I did use some white pick and fence distressing to just tone down the look of the white. And now again using E6000 I'm going to add some pearls to those little holes that are in there. And that's pretty much all there was to this layout. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for stopping by.